Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to do the weekly love reading for, i um, sorry, for the Aquarius. Hello Aquariuses. Um, this is going to be a quick love reading, five card spread. We're going to be looking at uh, starting today and ending on May the 18th. So this will be from May 11th to May the 18th, 2016. All right, and we're going to be looking at, it's a basic five-part spread, okay? Current energies, past, what's crossing in the past, and then future, and what the potential is for the future. So an advice card for the future. Again, this reading may not resonate with all of you Aquariuses, so I do highly recommend a personalized, more in-depth reading with me. Um... Check out the link in the video description box. My readings are very reasonably reasonably priced, okay? Um, I realized that there was some adjustments and some changes that I had to make, and I just ask that you be patient with me during those adjustments, okay? shuffling all right so Aquarius is let's see what's going on here uh oh I can already see some trouble currently oh wow mm -hmm. again this reading may not resonate with all of you Aquariuses but currently I can see either an unethical person because you got the seven of swords so I can either see someone unethical or I can see you trying to do something but not quite executing it the way that you want. So make sure whether or not you're single or in a relationship that you like that you're on your P's and Q's, that you check every avenue. OK, if you're involved with someone or you just met someone, you need to make sure that you check this person out to see if they are actually who they say they are. Because it's a possibility that they may be an unethical person. Now, in the past, I do see a messenger. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a literal person. This is someone that came with a message. This is... Um, it could be someone that you just recently met or someone from your, pa from your past. <coughs> I do see what's crossing you um, is the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is about, um, you know, metaphorical movement after a stagnation. So this message pretty much put you into gear. And you, you know, and the Knight of Wands is also a very fast night. So this is very fast energies. I get the sense that you were going really fast in the past. Not a good decision. Um, I'm going to suggest that some of you Aquarius is get some personal readings. And the reason why is because in the future, you got the four of coins. And, you know, this could be someone that puts too much emphasis on money, more emphasis than you. And it's not going to make you happy. It's a possibility. It's a possibility that someone may be holding on to you too tight and they are affecting you moving on in a relationship. I'd say that that is more so what's going on for you, Aquarius, is you need to check your friends and check your family and see who's bringing you down and, and low rating you. Um, what's crossing you in the future, what's crossing the Four of Pentacles in the future is the Knight of Swords. So again, this is another literal person with a message. Um, it could be you. You know, it could, you know, symbolize you. Mm. Um, I do this, see this as being some lover or either your um, person of interest or whoever you've been looking at. And, I, you know, with the, with the Knight of Swords, this points to conflict. So I don't really see this as being the best relationship. Um, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, mal, it, it's fairly upbeat energy from the Knight of Swords. 
Now, if you're waiting for news from someone, it you are likely to hear what you you are likely to like what you hear. Uh, the Knight of Swords is a very fast night, so you may be literally swept off of your feet, whether you are male or female. If you're currently in a committed relationship, it might get better. It might become deeper, but it's there's this air of uncertainty with the sword. If you're looking for someone, it may come along when you least expect it. But if you're having some sort of contact with other people for the, you know, um, but you have to be having some sort of contact with other people in order to be open to that. So you need to get dressed up and go out. Okay. Um, this is about activity travel. So I do see you making some sort of moves in the future this week. And um, will it be something that that is long term for you? Um, if you're single, it's a possibility. But I think there's going to be some things that you need to work through. Okay. Um, I, if you want a more personalized reading, I will link my website in the video description box. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and thumbs up and also leave a comment. And do not forget to enter in my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and have a good week. Bye.